Let's stay with this. If you've just tuned in, South Africa has not managed to avoid being greylisted by the Financial Action Task Force and the RAND fell by more than a percent on that news. The Treasury said it does expect the increased monitoring uh, around money laundering will have a limited impact on financial stability and the cost of doing business with South Africa. But it will be in the interests of South Africa to respond to the concerns raised by the task force. Let's speak to the Minister and the Presidency now, Mondli Gungo. Uh, Minister, thank you for, for being with us. By all accounts, it sounds like South Africa really tried to avoid this, uh, but we just didn't do enough. Well, uh, we tried. Uh, we continue to try. And uh, good afternoon to yourself and your business. Uh, you will realize that uh, with out of 20 uh, deficiencies, uh, 15 have been addressed through legislation. And then also, we are able to address, clarify through legislative means. Our belief is that uh, we wish we could not have gone this way. Things could not have happened this way, but however, uh, this is what has happened now. The most important thing is the positive attitude we have this was displayed to further in as far as our commitment to comply. And uh, we are going to make sure that as leadership of the Treasury, that applicants are actually briefed about the program in as far as make sure that it's over and done with our deficiencies. One of the difficult things to deal with, it sounds like, is that the FATF actually looks at prosecutions for financial crimes. And we don't seem to have the intelligence and the ability to take complex financial cases to court. Uh, everybody is still flummoxed about Steinhoff. Uh, to your understanding, is the National Prosecuting Authority poised to make changes there in future? Uh. Maybe you will know that since 2018, when the president took over, he has been a target of the strengthening of the prosecution uh, uh, institution and uh, strengthening the capacity of the prosecution. A lot of resources have been put there, both in terms of money, infrastructure, and bonds. And you, you, you look, when you reflect in the time, a lot of executives now, from the state capture, even from Spain, a lot of people have been made of peace. So far, uh, as we speak to now in the state, such cases are actually ongoing. So that capacity is beginning to, to, to actually press on foot. And, and, and I'm saying South Africa is moving in the policy direction in as far as the community is concerned. Minister, finally, we don't have a great line, uh, but this may not be the end of the world uh, in terms of investment, uh, some idea that it may affect our reputation, but there's a cumulative effect. There's just been bad news after bad news in terms of the economy, uh, starting with the downgrading and, of course, the state of disaster, the rolling blackouts. It does feel like government always says the right things, uh, but that control, that, that measure of, of changing things just doesn't seem to be there. Do you understand that South Africans are frustrated and, and tired of rhetoric when they never see a real change that, that leads to a better economy? Well, uh, if you chat, uh, you reflect on the Minister of Finance spirit, economy grew by 4.5%. Fine, that a lot of effort is being done. And if you look last year, no less than one million jobs were created. And after uh, a long time we had a negative net results, last year we achieved a positive result. And okay, against the load shedding, against uh, the electricity problems, because of the significant interventions from the funds. As we speak to you in the issues of water, uh, a lot of things are happening 
Okay, but but finally, because the line is a little bit better, I mean, uh, investors, if they actually want to come here with brick and mortar, are looking at uh, the lights off for hours per day. It's never been this bad. The the state of disaster was declared, so we had a, a great flurry again recently. Uh, the the president saying that there would be an electricity minister, then nothing. It all goes quiet. South Africans are wondering what does this mean for their lives. Uh, when is the cabinet reshuffle coming? When when will we know who's going to be the Minister of Electricity? The, the, you, you know, the, I've come across that question a number of times. You know that question, that, that answer comes from the President. But however, if you look at a business day of two days ago, from Grant, uh, Grant, Grant Sutton, uh, Global Survey, from the Institute of Business on the Future Economy of South Africa, there's one question where they say the 12 months focus uh, demonstrates in the eyes of the business an improved outlook because of the declaration of the state of disaster in intervention in intervening electricity. At the same time, the near installation of the middle of electricity. That's what, that's what the independent business of each time. In other words, the experts actually do all right, we appreciate your time. That was uh, the, the South the, African... The Minister, I'm sorry, we, we completely lost you there. In fact, there goes the line. That was uh, the minister in the presidency, Mondli Gungumbela. Uh, thank you uh, for your time. Although we've just uh, lost him, we will bring you more analysis on what it means that we are now on the grey list.